So, as you came into this experience, and as you call us forth to help clarify some things, we want you to understand why it is that you stand often in a similar place for a long period of time in relationships to things that you want or in relationships to things that you don't want. We want you to understand that your attention to a subject is a practicing of a vibration of it and that when you give your attention to something for just a little while and then you return to that again and again and again as you continue to think a thought wanted or unwanted about something or someone or about yourself you develop beliefs a belief is only a thought that you continue to think that represent a very strong part of your point of attraction that you just can't get around in other words the universe is delivering to you all day every day evidence of what you think well now many would say well then that's good because what I believe is true in the early days when Esther began receiving us she was very excited about the idea of now being able to sort out what was true and what was not true and we said to her Esther it would be better if you would realize that when you believe something whether it is wanted or not it's only a practice thought that will keep proving itself to you so the proof is because of the attention to it not because there's some greater consciousness or greater good who is in agreement with this there are all kinds of things that are true that you do not want to live and don't need to live but your attention to these things that you pronounce as truth and therefore worthy of my undivided attention hold you in holding patterns that you need not be in so the way it works is when you have a personal experience and you identify that you do not want something you emanate a vibration about what you do want even if you are not clear enough to say it in words and we've been calling that step one of the creative process because when you know what you don't want you know what you do want and in knowing what you do want you are literally asking for the improvement asking for what you do want and when you ask it is always given immediately because the non-physical part of you what you call source or God is focused with you upon what you are asking for so there is a huge vibrational influx of attention to your newfound desire and the point of attraction of that newfound desire really gets goosed up in a powerful way once you have consciously identified that you want something so then what happens that's the part that we were talking to you about just a minute ago so now you've got this desire that law of attraction is responding to in a very powerful way and the source within you is standing there with that new desire the question is what are you doing with your thoughts moment by moment conversation by conversation what are you doing with your thoughts are you in tune with your desire or are you like so many people still justifying why you want the desire by pointing out to yourself what's wrong with not having it which are you tuning to are you tuning to the more money you're asking for or are you tuning to the not enough money that has caused you to ask and you can tell by the way you feel which end of that stick you see every subject is really two subjects and you are often vibrationally contrary to what you really want without even knowing you're doing it but as you begin to pay more and more attention to how you feel then you can tell more often whether you are a vibrational match in this moment to your desire or whether you are a vibrational match to your belief about this desire and they're often very far apart so the whole point of our interacting with you is not about step one or step two because step one you can't stop it from happening you cannot stop from asking and step two is you can't keep source from answering in other words those steps are already taken care of but step three is your work step three is to listen to the subtleties of the emotions within you so that you can gradually guide yourself to more and more thoughts about what you do want so that your desires begin to feel good to you remember how good a desire felt when you were little before others convinced you that you were selfish or that you shouldn't have it or that you couldn't have it or that you weren't going to have it
wanting something in that open fresh air of free flowing energy where the energy that creates worlds is flowing through you is the most delicious form of life experience to have carved out from your life experience clarity within yourself about what you want and then to tune yourself to the frequency of that desire so that there's no resistance within you is the best feeling state of being that exists you call it joy or exhilaration happiness we call it satisfaction you call it clarity we call it satisfaction you call it happiness we call it satisfaction you call it joy and appreciation and love and we call it satisfaction 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 because when you tune yourself to who you are so that you are not affecting any contradiction within you when you stop that resistance and just allow all that you are to flow toward that which you're asking for that's the satisfaction of life that you came to live often you say I came to be of value to others and we say we know you came for that satisfaction I came to uplift others we know you came for that satisfaction I came to help others yes for that satisfaction sometimes we are accused of teaching you selfishness and we say it's true we do because if you are not selfish enough to really care in fact nearly to only care about how you feel then you will not figure out the subtleties of these energies and you will not tune yourself to the wholeness of who you are and you will by default not meaning to you will practice a lot of vibrational resistance and you will work against yourself day after day imagine that you are a train on a very flat plot of ground and that life shows you that you want something and that's like putting a strong engine going in the direction of your desire but then when you think about your desire you realize that you haven't accomplished it yet or you remember that you haven't or you think that you don't know anyone that really has or you remember something that somebody told you about how you're not very good at that and then you put an engine equal in power going in the other direction and then you want it more and then you doubt it more and then you want it more and then you worry about it more and so you keep piling up these engines going in opposition to each other and you put a lot of tension on yourself as you want it but as you want it but doubt it as you want it but don't believe it as you want it but face reality and that's the thing that we really want to talk about because this reality that you are observing is really old news because once something is manifested a whole lot of energy has already been flowed about it and so anything that you are currently looking at hear this we've not said this to anyone as clearly as we are about to say it to you as you look at the current manifestation and think about it every moment is a current manifestation isn't it it's a manifestation where you're perceiving it's a manifestation where you are acknowledging something that is you're seeing it and hearing it and smelling it and tasting it and touching it in every moment that you are doing that you are launching new rockets of desire in every moment there is resistance that you are observing which is giving you the basis for the continued evolution and expansion that is you did you follow that in every moment that you're alive and awake and focused in this body there's something happening that is putting new rockets of desires in the vibrational mix but it is also new resistance in the mix that is you so just being alive and in this body makes you prone and we love you so much for this very thing prone to dealing with resistance you just can't help it it's a good thing not a bad thing it's the platform from which desires are born you knew it when you decided to come you can't get out of it stop trying it's just the way that it is but you intended to spend a much smaller percentage focused in the now reality in the resistant phase what you really intended to do is once a desire was born to give your mostly undivided attention to the new idea because you knew that this forward vibration is really where it is at in fact it's so much where it is at that 
We wrote a book about it. We called it the vortex, this vibrational reality where you've launched all of these rockets and there is a very valid, very vivid, very real vibrational reality that is the beginning of what will be your manifested reality. For example, if you don't have enough money and you want more money and you don't have enough money and you want more money and you don't have enough money and you want more money, you've created a vibrational fortune. And then you say, okay, Abraham, so how do I get it out of the vibration and into the bank? And we say, here's how. You tune to the vibrational frequency of the currency rather than to the vibration of the not enoughness that you may be living. It's about choosing which feels better, putting your words and attention and thoughts toward what feels better until you've practiced that vibration enough that there's a sort of flipping in your vibrational nature. It's like the tipping of a teeter-totter on a fulcrum where you find yourself feeling more prosperous than you formerly were feeling less prosperous. And when that feeling shifts within you, you can know that your point of attraction has too. And then the manifestations that you begin walking into have more of the things that you want. Have you ever wondered how it is that things get here? There's no pipelines trucking them in, no spaceships zooming in and dropping off new contraptions. There's consciousness and there's attention to subjects and we've been saying to you for a long time that if this time space reality has the wherewithal to inspire a desire within you that it has the wherewithal to deliver the complete goods which means if this time space reality can bring a question to you it has the ability to bring the answer. And the answer is such a satisfying manifestation. If this time-space reality has the wherewithal to present a problem to you or a lack to you or a need to you, it has the capacity to bring you the solution. But you've got to find a way to tune to the solution and you cannot tune to the solution while you're still tuned to the problem. And that really is what we want to talk about mostly today. How is it that this vibrational reality that is vivid we know you cannot see it but you can sense it but as we said earlier it is subtle you have to tune yourself to understand the subtleties of it but once you hone in on it then you will have control of your your turning thoughts to things because these vibrations will turn to thoughts and these thoughts will turn to things and these things will be your new manifestation. It's always been that way, it will always be that way. Most people do not understand that and therefore most people just keep objectively observing the pros and the cons and the pluses and the minuses of what is, never having any real understanding that they are creating reality all the time creating a reality that for the most part they are very slow to tune into and therefore are very slow to personally realize. We want you to feel and to utilize deliberately the leverage of alignment. We want you to understand how it is that thoughts turn to things. We want you to be in the receiving mode so that you can be the receiver of the vibration and be right there consciously aware when the vibration bursts into an idea in your mind and you understood that you were standing in an attitude of non-resistance and therefore you were in the receiving mode and therefore what you were asking for that's been being delivered to you by your inner being and by this vortex and by law of attraction that you haven't been hearing because you haven't been on the vibrational frequency but now you have quieted your mind and you've meditated and you've stopped resistance and now you're in that pure place and now you you receive the idea oh deliberate creation that's what you've come to live you see so we said to you you are the creator of your own reality and at first you said good and then you said oh and the more you got to know about law of attraction the more you worried about things you said you said try to suck that back before law of attraction gets hold of that but 
you can't suck it back once you've offered it vibrationally. You have to just keep tuning yourself to the vibrational frequency of what you want. And it is not a difficult thing once you begin to understand your emotions.